after a decade of using FL Studio, I have to admit that when it comes to recording, it's not even in my top three. But there are things you can do to speed up the workflow and make the process be a bit more organized. And that's exactly what this video is about. The template I'm sharing with you guys is the result of experimenting for the past 10 years trying to find the best way to approach the recording process inside FL Studio. You can go ahead right now and download it through the link in description, but I really do recommend that you stick around a few minutes, let me break down the template and show you why things are the way they are and how you can implement it into your workflow and get the best out of it. Let's go. Let's start with the playlist layout. At the very top, you have a channel for your beat. You drag your beat into that beat channel and you set your project tempo to the beat BPM. 163 in my case. Under it, there is a recording channel. Here is where you route your microphone. You could route this from the playlist itself by pressing on this icon and choose your input. Or you could of course do it through the mixer. The reason there is a recording channel separate is for you to record every bit of the song on that. And as soon as you're done, you will drag it accordingly to one of the channels below. So if you're recording a verse for this section and you want to record in pieces and in multiple lines, you do your thing on the recording channel, you drag it down into the verse, you press record again, do the next line, you drag it down into verse two, so on and so forth. And as you can see, we have groups for verses, for hooks, bridge, and background vocals. In terms of background vocals, this could differ depending on the genre that you're recording for, but theoretically, we have two ad-libs tracks and two double tracks. You could always change the name or duplicate this stuff to suit your needs. Every channel that you see on the left-hand side is automatically routed to a channel on the mixer with the same name. So if I press on the DOP channel, you will see that the DOP channel gets selected in the mixer. These are automatically routed from playlist to the mixer and vice versa. Now let's take a closer look at the mixer. Let's start with the recording channel. When you load the template, you will see that this chain is already loaded into the recording channel. This is a stock FL Studio vocal chain that I created for you guys to use as a starting point. Subtractive EQ, de using Maximus, a little bit of a compression, a little bit of a saturation, and fresh air. This is the first of two free plugins available in this template that you will need to download. I will link it in the description for you. Super, super cool plugin to have. You might ask, why did you put all these effects on the recording channel? These will get recorded into my stems and that's not what I want. I want to record my vocals fully dry. You're right and that's exactly how it should be. That's why I set this recording channel into external input only. So when you're recording a signal into this recording channel, you will hear all these effects on your voice as you're recording into your headphones but none of it will get recorded into the stems as soon as you change this to post effects post eq or post level and panning that order will change but as long as you keep it on external input only none of these effects or your level on the fader or the panning knob is going to get recorded into the stems so this is a great way to create a vibe in your headphones when you're recording so you're not hearing a super raw vocal that bothers you also the first slot is empty for your auto tune if you want to place auto tune that's where it goes so you might ask again when i'm recording myself i'm hearing this vocal chain but as soon as i drop that recording into one of these channels these are empty and the sound's going to change i don't want that i thought that one through too that's why we have a vocal bus with the same exact chain copied into it all of these individual channels are routed into this vocal bus apart from the background vocals of course they have their own bus called bgv bus but all the lead vocal go to that vocal bus so as soon as you drag something into one of these channels in the playlist you will still hear the same thing you were hearing in your headphones unless of course you change the chain for the recording in that case make sure you right click go to file and you drag save mixer track state as onto the vocal bus to copy the chain across if you're enjoying the video and you're finding it valuable and you want to make a difference make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like thank you so much for your support to speed up the workflow a little bit more i created six effects channels docked to the right hand side of the mixer each of these are going to the effects bus you have two delay channels and four reverb channels room chamber hall and cathedral all of these of course customizable and all of these are full studio stock plugins so super light on cpu and ram so it doesn't bother your recording and cause latency let's now talk about the beat channel here you have tdr nova preloaded this is the second free plugin that you need to download again i will link it in the description this is the best and closest eq you can find to fab filter pro q3 
it has all the features that Fab Filter 1 has. And in this case, I'm sending a sidechain signal from the vocal bus into the beat channel. So all these tracks that are going into the vocal bus are being sidechained to the beat channel. And here on TDR Nova, I set up a wide dynamic band that reduces this frequency band of the beat by 2 to 3 dBs every time your vocal is performing so it carves out a little bit of space for your vocal on top of the beat for you to cut through. You could of course adjust the amount of this by adjusting the threshold by increase or decreasing the ratio and adjust the timing of the reaction by adjusting your attack and release. This is a technique that I use when I'm mixing my vocals on top of a two track beat that I don't have the stems for and I'm struggling to carve some space. The beat is sometimes mastered and you need to force some space and this is a great way uh, to do it for free because there are plugins like Waves Factory, Track Spacer that do the very same thing but obviously it's not free. And this is another cool thing available in the template already routed so you don't need to do much. On the effects bus there is this EQ that's high cutting and low cutting aggressively to make sure that your reverbs and delays are not getting in the way and they're narrowed down to the mid range only. So if you really do want the top end of your reverb make sure that you come to the effects bus and adjust this. Finally on the master bus there is this fruity limiter I made sure to reset the gain so you're not getting any extra gain out of it. And if you look at the top left of FL Studio, you want to go ahead and set your ceiling to minus 0.5 dB or so. This is just to catch peaks and make sure you're not clipping. I would love to quickly show you an example of me recording into this and dragging down, but unfortunately because of the routing that I have currently on my computer, I can't record uh, in FL Studio and record in Camtasia at the same time. Uh, you're not going to get the audio, it's going to be silent, so I'm going to avoid that to not ruin all my recordings. But I'm sure the process is simple enough for you to know what to do. As soon as you see your recording coming in and you're done with a specific line, you drag it down, you do it again on the recording channel, you drag it down, so you keep it organized. And if you need more of these channels, let's say for the verses, you right click on one and you clone it and it will give you another one. Remember, this is not a mixing template to make your vocals sound good. This is a workflow recording template that makes your job faster and more organized. That's the whole point of it. So I did not add a bunch of plugins to make the whole thing complicated and heavy. It's super light and it's designed to make your workflow faster. So with everything that we just talked about in mind, go ahead and download the template. Give me some feedback and let me know if it was helpful to your workflow or not. If you adjusted anything about the template to suit your workflow better, make sure you share it with everybody in the comments. Maybe it will be helpful to them as well. Thank you so much for sticking with me and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.